Alright, so I wanted to show you how you could build a pretty good bridge. There's three basic concepts. Um, one of them is the arc design. And what you want to do is you want to build this sort of arc top. And on each point at the bottom, you want to have it connected to the arc. The problem with this de design though is that there's a lot of stress at this point right here so the bridge always end up ends up breaking right there as you'll see um, I have gotten on the leaderboard with a bridge like that where I've added pretty much three of those on top of each other I don't know why I got on the leaderboard, it was pretty heavy. Um, you could also add a bottom piece for support. But you're still going to have the same problem where you have the stress at this point right here. I'm guessing it's because the words are transferring all the energy right there. Alright, so it fails. Um... The other design I was talking about is sort of like a tension bridge. And what you do is for each point right here you want a sort of tangential line. Um connected to a triangle. As you can see, it's still expensive, but it is really sturdy. And the good thing about this bridge is the resonant frequency doesn't distribute all the way at the end, so you don't have to worry about it breaking right there. It's pretty much evenly distributed. Um, still a problem, though, is that it uses a lot of uh, weight. And so you could play around with this and maybe make an arc slash tension type of design and you could get it to work. I've gotten it to work around 800 pounds or $800, but um, I think they actually make them heavier or I think the words get heavier later on. I don't know why. I think they actually get heavier with each new score. So there we go.